Hello and welcome to my home tuition's YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss definite integration and then using the Casio FX 570EX class with calculators to help us to verify the answer. This video is sponsored by Casio Malaysia. A definite integral is a mathematical concept that provides a measure of the area under the curve within a specified interval on the x-axis. It is used to find the accumulated change in the continuous functions over the given interval. In mathematical notations, a definite integral is written as this, where we integrate from a to b for the function fx dx where fx is the functions being integrated, a and b are the lower and upper limits of the integrations, and dx is the differential or the independent variable x. The definite integrals represents the area under the curve of fx from x equal to a to x equal to b. Now let's see this example. Um, a, find the values of uh, integrations from negative 1 to 1 uh, for 3x plus 1 to the power of 3. So we integrate 3x plus 1 cube from negative 1 to 1. Yeah. So this is equal to 3x plus 1 to the power of 4 over 4 and then times the differentiations of this 3x plus 1 which is equal to 3 and then we integrate it from negative 1 to 1 so this is equal to uh, let's take out this uh, uh, 4 times 3 this is equal to 1 over 12 okay so and then uh, 3 times 1 3 times 1 plus 1 to the power of 4 Okay, and then minus 3 times negative 1 plus 1 to the power of 4. Okay, so this is equal to 1 over 12, uh, 3 plus 1, 4. 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 256. Okay, minus uh, negative 3 plus 1, which is equal to negative 2. Negative 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. So this is equal to 1 over 12 times 240, which is equal to 20. Let's use the calculators to verify our answer. So in our calculators, we can see these buttons. This is for integration. So we uh, press on these buttons, integrations. So uh, let's key in the expression. The expression is 3x plus 1 to the power of 3. Let's put a bracket first. 3x plus 1, close brackets, to the power of 3. Okay. And then uh, integrate from negative 1, negative 1 to 1 equals yes the answer is 20 so you see we can use the calculators to check the answer easily by just uh, input the expressions and also the and also the boundaries for the integrations let's move on to question b so uh, in question b we are asked to evaluate uh, uh, integrations of this 1 over square root of 2x minus 4 from 3 to 4 Okay, so uh, let's rewrite this as 2x minus 4 to the power of negative 1 over 2. So we write this in the index form. Okay, so this uh, 1 over square root of uh, 2x minus 4, we can write it as 2x minus 4 to the power of 1 over 2. And then uh, and this is equal to... 2x minus 4 to the power of negative 1 over 2. Okay, yeah? So write this as 2x minus 4 to the power of negative 1 over 2 and then dx and let's integrate it. Uh, to integrate this, uh, this become 2x minus 4, 1 over 2 and then over uh, the differentiations of the expressions inside the bracket which is 2. So 1 over 2 times 2. Okay, and from 3 to 4. So these two cancel off. So it become 2 
times 4 minus 4 to the power of 1 over 2 and then minus 2 times 3 minus 4 to the power of 1 over 2 so 2 times 4 8 8 minus 4 is equal to 4 uh, 1 over 2 and then minus 2 times 3 equal to 6 6 minus 4 equal to uh, 2 okay 2 to the power of 1 over 2 and uh, by using the calculators uh, square root of 4 minus the square root of 2 equal so uh, the answer is 0 0.5858 0 0.5858 and let's use the calculators to verify our answer so integrations so we integrate uh, 1 over square root of 2x minus 4 huh? 2x minus 4 and we integrate it from 3 to 4 huh? 3 to 4 okay equal yes the answer is correct huh? 0 0.5858 okay so that's how we use uh, the casual fx 570 ex calculators to find the answer for uh, the definite integration now let's see another question this is the questions in year 2016 paper 1 question 5 given that uh, the integrations of 2x minus 6 dx from 1 to h is equal to negative 4 find the values of h so now let's integrate this expression first uh, 1 to h 2x minus 6 dx equal to negative 4 uh, when we integrate x it becomes x square so 2x square and then over 2 and then minus 6x okay and this is the definite integration from 1 to h equals to negative 4 okay uh, we can simplify this it becomes x square minus 6x h1 equals to negative 4 substitute h so h squared minus 6h and then minus substitute 1 1 squared minus 6 times 1 and equals to negative 4 so h squared minus 6h minus uh, 1 minus 6 equals to negative 5 equals to negative 4 so h squared minus 6h plus 9 equals to zero uh, h minus three h minus three equal to zero therefore h equal to three yeah? so this is the values of h now let's use our casual fx 570 ex class with calculators to verify our answer so we key in integrations of 2x minus 6 2x minus 6 and then uh, from 1 to 3 yeah? because we found that h equal to 3 yeah? so we integrate from 1 to 3 okay and then equal yes the answer is equal to negative 4 which means this answer is correct okay so you will find that actually uh, this function is very useful for us to verify our answer yeah? Another way to verify the answer is using the solving equations functions. Okay, let's try this. Uh, first, we key in the equations. The equation is integrating this and make it equal to negative 4, right? So we integrate 2x minus 6, 2x minus 6, and then from 1 to h, 1 and to h uh, here we key in x uh, we do not key in h but we key in x uh, so we integrate from 1 to x okay later on we are going to solve the equation to find the values of x uh, and then so uh, this is equal to alpha equal to negative 4 so negative 4 okay and then shift solve uh, so first, uh, we need to make an estimation of the values of x and let's make it 0. Let's estimate that the x equals to 0 and then let's press equal. equal. Eh? So the calculators are going to calculate the values of x for us. Okay, so now we have the answer. Eh? 
So the calculator told us that the values of x is equal to 3, okay, uh, which is correct. Okay, this shows that our answer is correct. So this is another way to verify our answer.